Good. All right, guys, if you loved Full House and Who Did, then you're going to want to check out the new podcast from our friends, How Rude, Tanner Rito. Oh, yeah. Joining us right now are the hosts, Jody Sweden and Andrea Barber. Hi, ladies. Hi. Scott and I were talking. I can't believe the original was 36 years ago. Unbelievable. Yeah. What's it like to relive these memories? Even watching that clip was quite something. Oh, oh my God. It's, man. it's so, like watching home movies. It really us. is. And like we didn't grow up watching the show, which was kind of the inspiration for why we wanted to do the podcast was like, I've never really seen a lot of Full House episodes, maybe the pilot and like a couple here and there. But going back and watching each episode, like beginning to end in sequential order, right. it, you, you really do see how and why people fell in love with this family. Like, it's just, it's really great to watch. And things I haven't thought about in 37 years. Right. <laughs> but I mean, even seeing Bob in that video, oh. just, then, like, just like looking in the camera, it was like, oh, man, yep. right? Yeah. The memories, I'm sure, come flooding back when you guys are talking about it's, it. It gets emotional sometimes, watch, yeah. especially watching the pilot, watching Bob Saget in the pilot. Mm. He nails those emotional, heartfelt scenes so well. And yeah. it's just, it brings up all the emotions for us. Yeah. Well, and the show, everybody loved y'all's relationship. So fun. Best friends. Mm -hmm. What was your first impression of one another? Do you remember? <laughs> and how old were y'all? I'm trying to think. Well, Jody was five. Yeah. Yep. I was 10. So I thought of you as like the pip squeak, like, like yeah, the pocket, yeah, yeah. The pocket yeah. size pip squeak. Yeah, right. yeah. And that was me. I was yeah. always interjecting terrible jokes. You were like the little, <laughs> I was like the little no annoying you were the sister. little sister. That's exactly what I was. I right. love that you have jokes at five. I, I don't even know how to talk about yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Knock, knock yeah. jokes. I don't, I, I, I do not, not great ones. You know, that would come later. But you know, we had so much fun. And it was always interesting because, you know, we were frenemies on the show. Kimmy and Steph were always oh. kind of, you know, trading Don't barbs at each other. Yeah. But in real life, we were actually really, really close. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what was the thing that, that struck you both and were like, you know what, we should do this now? Oh, for the podcast? Yeah, for the podcast. Oh, yeah, why not? Before our memories go and we completely, <laughs> it's true. the brain fog it's takes true. over, we well, got to do we this call, now. We, the, the podcast is HRT, so we're like, we're in our 40s, HRT. HRT. Hormone <laughs> 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 replacement therapy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are our people, right? So glad we said that on camera. <laughs> 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 Proud. That, I did that. that was worth it. Oh, my that was worth it. Proud, Bob yes. would be proud. Bob Way to would your be so proud. <laughs> with me, with me, ladies. Uh, what have been the big reveals on the podcast? Anything you want to share? Is there anything that's come out that you're like, oh my God, oh, we didn't, didn't know that we didn't both were that. thinking that or this happened? Um, I'm trying to think. I didn't know that Jesse was such a player. Uncle Jesse <laughs> had a was, new woman every week on season Jesse one. Jesse was a mess. Let me tell you, oh. Jesse. <laughs> Jesse was a mess. Not okay? something you realized back no, then. No, you know, 1987 know. was a different time. Like, <laughs> if you look back yeah. and you're like, this would not fly today. Ooh, like, right. people would be having some things to say. Some things yes. to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it was the 80s, so whatever. But, um, Any famous mullets ones? Mullets will let you get away with a lot. <laughs> Don't you know, a good mullet, you can oh, do anything. You mullet and you can yeah, yeah. sing. So many so, yeah. guitar. Mullet, fake tattoo, and a, you know, a and rat, in your room. And a rat tail. Well, he didn't have a rat tail. That the was one of the that rippers. That was the rippers, right. Remember <laughs> the rat tail? Jesse and the rippers and the you rat tails. You look at me because you know I remember the rat tail. My mom You're was the like, only man here. My mom was like, we are not, not doing the rat please, tail. Please, no. Uh, we know the whole gang just got together for Bob Saget. What was that tribute like? Oh, oh it was so, you know, it was kind of an, like an unexpected thing. We were all like texting um, on the, the two-year anniversary of Bob passing. And we were like, let's do a... Like, we should get online and, like, do something and share this I can't tell you. with everybody. Like, yeah. we wanted to all kind of be together, and we were like, I think people would love a window into that. And, yeah, it was just us laughing and being stupid and ridiculous and laughing at Bob, which is exactly what he would have wanted. Exactly. He's yeah. one of those people that it, it was always surprising how funny, for some reason, it was always surprising how funny he would be any given moment. Or well, how because, naughty. Like, knowing the show and then not knowing his that's humor the thing, was people the greatest. Like, wow, you're funny and dirty. And you're like, I know, it's totally not the house. <laughs> the decomity. But it's right, right. But it yeah. was, I mean, we always knew Bob okay. was funny and dark. And I always say, like, my sense of humor and so much of how I use humor to cope with some really terrible things that, you know that we all go through. Mm -hmm. I learned that watching Bob and Dave and watching these comedians go through you know losing sisters and family stuff and all these things and being this kid that like absorbed like right. you can laugh at this stuff. Mm -hmm. You can use humor to deflate the tension and the and the heartbreak. Like right. it 
it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's like a relief, yeah. a release. Yeah. It's very cathartic. Have y'all stayed close throughout all these years? Because you can sense the friendship. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We so never, never lost break touch. you took. You never lost touch. No, no we never great. lost touch. The whole cast, like, we have been friends for 37 years. Like, yeah. wow. We have, it, we're, it's weird almost. <laughs> they, they said Fuller House was the big reunion, and we're like, well, we're like, we, not for us. Not for us. Yeah. We've been together this whole time. Maybe oh, for the fans, so it was a reunion. Right. We've actually but... all been living in the same house this entire time. There it is. It's weird. Yeah, that's a reality show. They, yeah, we didn't even buy it. We just walked in. We were like, this is our house now. I'm sorry. The door was open. Right. The door was always open. This is where we live. Do you this ever go? You probably post, I haven't seen it, just to where those houses are. So I live with my daughters. Oh, yeah. We always go by. And the reaction you must get. Well, the painted ladies are at the like Alamo Square Park. Yes. And we did a thing for Hyundai for the podcast, yes. and, which was hilarious. And we were out there. We being ran down the hill, ridiculous. the grassy just hill. Ridiculous. Yeah. But when you go to the actual Full House house, which was on a different street, which Jeff Franklin bought at one point oh. in time. There, but there's like a gate in front of the thing, and it's like, please don't do that. They've repainted the house. <laughs> please they used leave to us have, alone. They used to have like a thousand people a day. Yeah. The city tour bus would go by yes. the street, and the people were just like, we're over it. People would drive by blaring the theme song out of their car windows. <laughs> Can you imagine these neighbors? <laughs> don't hold it against me, right? I just need to feel it. <laughs> one <laughs> time, one time only. Okay, we're going to play a little once. game. Okay. Ooh, it's called oh, Fly in the, the Paddles, Keith. How yeah. rude or not rude? Ooh. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Scenarios. You ladies got a lot. Oh, yes. What yes. thank you. Ooh, I love this year. Okay. <laughs> Unannounced house visits. Oh. No, wait. Rude. A lot so of people rude. don't like what? us. I don't yeah. like My mom, it. if you show up on my mom's front porch, you bet mm -mm, she will not let you in the house if she's not done. Really? <laughs> oh, that's always going to be big. So you're going to go how rude? I'm like, if you show up at my house, you get whatever shape I'm in. Turn that around here. There we go. That's rude. No. You're saying it's rude for oh, your mom, so but not for you. Not for me. No, well, I'm saying my you. mom. Yeah, she like, it. but I'm good with it. Okay, less. Okay, okay no, what I, about I think it's rude. friends posting unapproved photos of you on social media? Rude. Well, you're very easygoing yeah. <laughs> compared to me. I mean, <laughs> like, get photo Have you seen please? the pictures that I post of myself? <laughs> I look like a fool. I, do you, have you seen what I do for a living? Oh, I who cares what I post on social media, ladies? <laughs> this is why you can't. This is why we love it. Listen. What's not rude is you two. Congrats on Aww. everything. We love you reunited or staying together. Now you're reunited. Everybody check them out. Listen to the How Rude Tanneritos podcast now. We